What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm, Rad 89 here, bringing you another Rad Movie Review, and today we're going to be talking about Child's Play, that means we're going all the way back to 1988 to talk about that very first film, the film that started it all, and mainly because we have the Chucky Season 3 show coming out this year in October, So I've never, and also I've never talked about the Child's Play franchise on the channel, so I thought this would be a fun time to go through all the films, then at the end of them, after reviewing all of them, we are going to rank them and all that kind of stuff. So this is gonna be really fun. So stay tuned because today you're gonna to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm gonna send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. Child's Play came out in 1988, was directed by Tom Holland and written by Don Mancini. This film centers around Andy Barclay, who is a child who ends up receiving a good guy doll, and we find out some deep, dark secrets about this good guy doll that his mother got him. But this is a very fun film, especially for being a slasher film. It's very creative, and the very first film in the franchise, it's got a lot to love about it. So let's just get, kind of like get right into the positives right away, is that I love the setup for this film. It's really great when we have Brad Dorff playing Charles Lee Ray, and then we have Chris Sarandon, who's like the detective who's hunting him chases him down into a toy store and then all of a sudden you see Charles Lee Ray doing like this these weird chants and seance stuff and like you know puts him, his soul into a good guy doll but you really don't kind of know that when you first watch this film at the beginning you just see him you know saying these things to this doll and like at first like when you're young or you're watching this film you don't really understand what the hell is happening at first and then all of a sudden we cut to you know Andy's mom and she wants to get him a good guy doll for his birthday and then ends up getting him a doll from a street peddler you know behind her uh, job where she works and yeah it ends up being Charles Lee Ray's soul inside of this doll but it's quite surprising like I said but this one for being the first film I think another great thing about it is it's for me clearly the scariest film and mainly because it plays with that idea of that Andy could be crazy maybe he is the one that's doing the killings and it's not Charles Lee Ray you know what I mean so maybe it's just the doll like has an evil presence and it's like latched itself on to Andy you don't really know what's happening or is Chucky actually performing the kills so that's what I think is fascinating and what makes this thing this first film the most scariest like I think in the franchise. Some other fantastic stuff about this first film is the acting. Brad Dorff is great, Chris Sarandon is great, even Alex Vincent as Andy. Fantastic. Everybody in this film I think delivers on all their roles and I think this is a film that is very strong especially for being the first film in the franchise and with Tom Holland in the director chair he builds an atmosphere. He takes his time with the story and builds these characters up. And like I said, by the time you get to that third act, you really care about what's going on and you're invested in the story. I think the puppetry work is amazing too. And even the design and look of Chucky, like really just fantastic out of this world. Like the design of the good guy doll, because there's points in the film when you look at it and it does look wholesome. It looks inviting. It looks cute, like a kind of doll you want to own. But then other times it looks, you know, crazy like this. And it just looks psychotic in the faces that they make it do. Plus you add Brad Dorff in there, who is just charisma a plenty you know what I mean if you talk about an actor who has just so much charisma just oozing out of every pore that like so much that it's just in his voice he doesn't physically have to be on screen it's literally just his voice and it works very well so I think the whole design the whole concept of Chucky and the puppetry work great a matter of fact they also use real stunt workers as well to act as Chucky in some of the moments and some scenes and that makes it look even creepier. So yeah, for me this first film hold, like stands the test of time and holds up very strong because it's creative. They have a good director in the director chair and the actors are fantastic and I said the atmosphere in this film is very strong. Add to that we have a great soundtrack, great music, like I said, that all assists in building and adding to it because you wouldn't think that Music is that big a part of the film, but yeah, it really is a big part of feature films. Music really helps build that whole world and make it more three-dimensional so we can all feel it, hear it, 
and see it. And another reason I love the Child's Play film is because, you know, and this franchise is a slasher. It's a slasher franchise. I'm not the biggest on all the films. I don't return to every single one of them a lot, but just in general, like the concept and the setup for this first film and the idea of Chucky, great to add another slasher icon because like for real, Chucky is an icon. He's iconic because people who haven't even seen the Child's Play franchise know who he is. And that's when you know something that you've created is iconic, when it transcends pop culture and it reaches the masses in a way that, like I said, people who haven't even seen these films know of him. They know Brad Dourif. That's when you know that you have an iconic character that you've created and added to the horror you know, universe. Let's get into the mix and negatives because there's a few, a couple here and there with mix and negatives. One thing for sure is I think this is the scariest film in the franchise. But I don't think Chucky himself is that scary. I'm not really scared of the Chucky doll. Even at a child's age when I was a kid, I saw these films when I was probably like, I want to say, eight or nine. I was probably around that age, like eight or nine, when I first saw the Child's Play films. And I wasn't even scared of Chucky at that time. I was watching Puppet Master at that time, and I wasn't even scared of, like, you know, the puppets either. So for me, I think, like I said, the scariest thing about this is like, oh, being a mom and like having to deal with the fact that oh what if your child is a murderer or having the fact that Chris Sarandon the detective is trying to finger your son for being the killer you know what I mean those kind of things are to me more terrifying than the actual doll himself and Charles Lee Ray so that's one thing that's kind of a negative another thing is the kills in here I think the story is really creative and there's a lot of atmosphere but I think the kills department isn't the best. There's a lot of other films later down that we're going to talk about in terms of the Child's Play franchise that have a lot better kills than this one. Also, there's a lot other better one-liners in some of the other Chucky films. And I think because with this first movie, they didn't really know what they had in their hands. Brad Dorf being Chucky because you go a good chunk of... I want to say like 35, 38 minutes of this movie before you actually hear him speak through Chucky, you know what I mean, as the doll. And the moment's great, that's fantastic because they build the film up to this point. And like I said, when the mom's trying, when she's just wrestling with him, Mrs. Barkley, and she's about to throw Chucky in the fire, and then Brad Dorf finally speaks, it's fucking fantastic because they build it up to that moment perfectly. But because of that reason, you don't get a lot of iconic one-liners from Brad Dorf, those iconic Chucky lines that you think of when you think of this franchise. But some of those are just kind of minor negatives, you know, like a few things. And like the kills department, that's kind of a personal taste thing for me. I love brutal kills, I love practical effects, and I love when they're in your face and gruesome, and I can stomach them. So with this film, I think, yeah, they did. It seems like they didn't have, they were put, spent a lot of money on the cast and probably the special effects for Chucky himself. So they didn't have a lot to do with the kill department. So that's one thing. But you see that elevated when you get into some of the other films. But in terms of atmosphere and story and acting and just all that jazz, like this is the Chucky film that I want to return to the most. And typically when I think of Child's Play and I think of the franchise, I think of this first film. It's just very iconic. And in terms of a rating in my book, Child's Play, this first film is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. Very solid, very respectable rating. This is a very iconic slasher film that, you know, reached the masses. And there's a lot of fans of Child's Play. A lot of the friends and people that I talk to in the horror community, Child's Play is their favorite franchise. So it's just really a fun horror community thing that built up into the universe and I really love that Chucky has stead, stood the test of time and we're still getting content to this day. But these are just my thoughts and my opinions on Child's Play. That means I would love to hear from all of you down in the comment section. Is this one of your favorite franchises? Is this a film that scared you as a child? Do you love Chucky? Is he one of your favorite characters in the horror universe? I would love to discuss down below. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video because we're going to be continuing these Child's Play rad movie reviews and we also got some Scooby-Doo, more Scooby-Doo content coming as well. I'm going to be doing Scooby-Doo content for like the next three years probably because there's so much, but I'm just kidding. But yes, be sure you're subscribed and have a like on this video because it helps out the channel. But most importantly, you all know what's up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.